Hey guys, good morning. Finally on my way to install my Euro lights. I bought these lights over a year ago and I just haven't had the chance to install them for many reasons. One, I originally ordered the grill that goes with the lights from a vendor online and they never deliver. It was some back order forever. So I waited for these parts. I want to think that I placed this order in September of last year and we're in May and I think it was March and they were still sending me this automated email saying hey your parts are getting are taking longer than expected so i just canceled the order but before i did that i found this person on instagram his uh, website is called euro realm he's based out of somewhere in la and i'm driving there right now it's 133 miles from me so i took the day off and i'm gonna get there and hopefully we'll have him installed in a day i think i could have done this my myself with the help of my friends but i just didn't want to deal with it especially because this is a place that deals with oem bmw parts so i'm guessing that they have the experience to do it i don't know the guy if his name is enim or enim and um so we've been talking over a message and so we arranged for today to have these parts installed so i had to leave the house super early so that they can get it done all in one day look at the high beams especially they're a little pitted they look a little bit faded after many many hours of walking around foothill boulevard here in uh, la crescenta california my car's ready so i'm gonna walk over there right now i think i'm like 15 20 minutes i cannot wait to see the upgrade on my car okay i'm back at the shop and look what this guy has here this m3 E36, automatic transmission, four door. Don't like it, but what about this beauty right here? This convertible, the station wagon, and then what is this? Maybe like an 87? Okay, and why don't you walk into your cars because I misspoke on everything. I know that this is a Euro version. Yes. Um, I don't think this was ever in America. Yeah, so the, 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 they're all imports, right? Yeah, so uh, this one's an import. It's a bit special of a model. It, it uh, has uh, 45,000 kilometers on it original oh kilometers it has the m stitching or cloth interior we're doing some work on it but oh, it's not yours no uh, uh it's it's mine but <laughs> but yeah we're working on it we're, uh, 45, kilometers. yeah it's it's just been sitting for so long uh not driving so it's got a few electrical problems it's getting a all-around restoration is it something you can fix or you're gonna have to have somebody else above your no, no, yeah, this is uh, all stuff we do in-house. Um, we do it all pretty much here. Uh, the only thing we don't do is body work and upholstery. But yeah, so this is a 325iX, pretty special. Uh, not too many of these made. All-wheel drive. Yeah, all-wheel drive wagon. It has some Frenchies, uh, Euro, I mean, uh, French style headlights, which is the same as Euro. Uh, and then in the iX models, it's special because it has the different shock towers and the different booster. And for the all-wheel drive, uh, the height uh, and the abuse that the suspension gets, they strengthen that part of the car, so um, Do you it know can take more. Do you know the all-wheel drive system is working on this one? Yeah, this one's working. It's It, it drove here uh, fine, but we're just gonna do a, we're just gonna make it look nice again because it's been sitting for so long. The special thing about this one is it's not only a six cylinder, but it also has AC, which is pretty, uh, rare for these. Yeah, because uh, back then they didn't really care about AC. And I think this one, don't tell me what it is. Let me guess, because I said that it was an 87. Yeah, that's right. 325 period, right? No E, no I. No, this one is the E. So the E, you know what? I said that originally, <laughs> so it's going to be in the video. I did say that it was an E, yeah. but then I thought, oh, no, no, never mind. I, I know that the cow catcher uh, bottom is for the ES. Right? Yeah, that's right. The ES and the IS had that. It's a um, it's a nice car, it's manual, coupe, yeah. Um, yeah. And then over there's another E. This one is, uh, before it gets sent out to paint, we're doing a full 325i conversion on it. Yeah, and then this uh, this car is actually pretty cool too. It has 70,000 miles, I think. Wow. So it's it's really, it looks rough, but it hasn't drove much. So it's, it's worth it to restore. Yeah, and that's the thing. People that sometimes they sit this car, let this car sit, and then they just, 
look like trash but you know a little bit of uh, elbow grease and love and they come back to life so this one has a s52 in it at e36 and 3 motor we're working on this swap uh here if you want i can go and get the key to open the thing if you want I'll okay let's do that yeah and now we're getting to this beauty right here and it told me that it's got a uh, the s52 yeah that's correct um the m3 engine that Oh, it's okay. a <laughs> it's a little trick to open up these hoods. This one is kind of like a track car for the owner, so it doesn't really care about the aesthetics. But it has a bigger motor in it, 3.2 liter. This motor has uh, 40,000 miles on it. Came out of a Z3M, which is the same motor as the E36 M3. It's got a couple of upgrades. It's got a tuned DCU. We put the M50 manifold on it. You don't see it here because it's off. But it has headers, Turner Motorsport headers. And uh, I think it's pushing around 270-ish horsepower. I think uh, original, they do like 250, you know? Yeah, 268, but uh, by now they're probably like 80, but <laughs> right, right, like yeah. That. Yeah, I mean, this is like honestly the best amount of power for the track for these cars. Super reliable, nothing crazy, just a really balanced setup. And it's got an E90 booster, it's an upgrade. I think it's from, yeah, the E93 series model. So that's for better braking, right? Because this car yeah. is gonna have so much horsepower compared to the original one that you want yeah. stopping power. So stuff you don't see on this car right now that we have ongoing to put onto it is KW V3 suspension and uh, Porsche 996 calipers. Pretty it's gonna have some big brakes on it and it's gonna be pretty good for so the track. Four lug or five lug? Uh, this one's getting five lug conversion. So the back is gonna have a Z3M subframe. Right now it's not on it. We're just doing the engine first uh, and then suspension next. So this is the kind of stuff that you do on a daily basis here? Yeah, it's just uh, ongoing. We have some light jobs and some intense stuff. And then we have some full restorations like this six series. So I guess that it was a 635 because I don't know the yeah. names and it's at 86. Uh, this one's 84, so we did some special work here. Actually, our friends did. This back section you see, right now you don't see it because the Euro bumpers are not on it. We did a Euro bumper conversion. And for these cars, for the 84 model year, it takes a lot of work to get that done. The back, we completely modified. We cut this section out right here and shaped it uh, to fit the Euro bumpers. We had to cut this entire section out and push it in and our guys made it smoother. It looks clean now and uh, it, the paint hasn't been cut and polished yet because he wants to finish the engine work and the upholstery and then go back to the paint shop and then get that last detail. All around the restoration, there's not one thing we're not changing on this car. And then there's a whole other section that's under construction that will be out soon. That's the motor for this car. It's an M30. It has some light upgrades on it and then some aftermarket headers. And then, yeah, this motor is getting a turbo build for M20, uh, 2.7 liter. Uh, should be going 350 horsepower, 400 on the E30. Thanks for the walkthrough, man. Yeah, no problem, anytime. Loving all the E30. Yeah, we're still moving in and there's still like cars getting out and going in, but yeah, we have stuff always here, so. But yes, I had a good experience here at uh, Euro Realm in uh, LA area, like La Senta is called. It's kind of far from me, but it was worth the trip because now my car gets to look amazing. Time to see my car. There's my beauty done this is the upgrade i always wanted on this car ever since i started eyeballing i30s back in 2013 i saw this look and i just fell in love with it unfortunately i got around so many things with this car throughout the years that this was the last upgrade for this year an expensive one but definitely worth it but the lights look at the lights these are 35 34 35 year old lights they're in great shape can you quickly walk me through what you yeah. did Sure, uh, so yeah, we took out the old lights and we did the proper conversion. We went all the way to the source of the wire and uh, used OEM clips and OEM wiring to make the proper conversion. We used part of this turn signal to get the lights for the daytime running lights, which is a cool trick. I haven't seen too many people run both of them, but we got it to work. Usually people go with one or the other. Uh, you can go with both, we found out. So a lot of people like to convert this to Euro spec. I'm sure a lot of you niche lovers know that the Euro spec has the light here. So yeah. the European version has chrome bumpers and doesn't have that amber ugly light there. That's for the early, yeah, that early models and the late models have the similar thing going on with the black trim. Uh, that's just fully blacked out. 
but yeah it's a similar thing going on but yeah that's pretty much it it looks very good i think so what do you guys think you like this look i'm really loving it notice how this grill has this tabs right here that make the lights appear like they didn't like they don't fit properly in the grill in the euro version because the other ones have this paddle right here so it's the whole grill and this one looks like the car's a little mad little attitude i love it thanks Denim. no problem and that's it time to head back let me show you the skyline of la look at that beauty those of you old enough to remember back in the 80s you couldn't see that far into la because of all the pollution so i'm glad things are changing but anyways enim is a nice guy we did business and uh, the upgrade was very expensive and i hope my wife is not watching this the lights were like 850 and then uh 500 for parts and labor he had to get the all the oem wiring and all that good stuff and then his time of course and then the euro grills that are a little bit different that was 175 right now they're dirty but once i wash it you're gonna see it's gonna look pretty good thank you for watching and i'll see you next time